it might not be fun, but checking the contents of your baby's nappy is one of the best ways to check on the health of your baby. Your baby's first poo, or stool, will be made up of something called meconium. This is sticky and greenish black. After a few days the poo will change to a yellow or mustard color. Breastfed baby's poo is runny and doesn't smell. Formula fed baby's poo is firmer, darker brown and smellier. Some infant formulas can also make your baby's poo dark green. If you change from breast to formula feeding, you'll find that your baby's poos become darker and more paste-like. How often should my baby do a poo? Some babies fill their nappies at all around every feed. Some, especially breastfed babies, can go for several days or even up to a week without a bowel movement. Both are normal. It's also normal for babies to strain or even cry when passing a poo. Your baby isn't constipated as long as their poos are soft, even if they haven't passed one for a few days. Is it normal for my baby's poos to change? Baby Poo Guide From day to day, week to week, your baby's poos will probably vary. If you notice a marked change of any kind, such as the poos becoming very smelly, very watery or harder, particularly if there's blood in them, you should talk to your doctor or child health nurse. Pale, white or near white, poos may be a sign of jaundice. If you're worried, speak to your midwife or child health nurse. Diarrhea Babies Most babies have occasional loose stools, too. Breastfed babies have looser poos than formula-fed babies. Diarrhea is when your baby frequently passes unformed watery poos. It can be caused by an infection, and may be accompanied by vomiting. This is called gastroenteritis, a stomach bug, which is usually caused by a virus, such as rotavirus. Diarrhea and vomiting are more serious in babies than older children because babies can easily lose too much fluid from their bodies, and become dehydrated. They may become lethargic or irritable, have a dry mouth, and have a pale or washed out color. If your baby becomes dehydrated, they may not pass much urine, and they may go off their feeds. It may be difficult to tell how much urine they're passing when they have diarrhea. What to do if your baby has diarrhea? Do not stop giving your baby milk. Give the extra fluid as an addition to milk. Give your baby oral rehydration fluids in between feeds or after each watery stool, after discussion with your doctor or local pharmacist. Don't give your baby medicines to reduce the vomiting and diarrhea. They do not work, and may be harmful. With formula-fed babies, make sure bottles are sterilized carefully. Don't take your baby swimming in a swimming pool for two weeks after the last episode of diarrhea. Keep your baby away from other children as much as possible until the diarrhea has stopped. When to contact your doctor. Babies under six months old should always be checked by a doctor if they have vomiting and diarrhea because they are at higher risk of dehydration. If your baby is unwell, is less responsive, not feeding well, feverish or is not passing much urine, or if vomiting has lasted more than a day, get your doctor's advice straight away or call Health Direct on 1-800-022-222 to speak to a registered nurse. Toddlers and Older Children Some children between the ages of 1 and 5 pass frequent, smelly, loose stools that may contain recognizable foods, such as carrots and peas. These children are usually perfectly healthy and are growing normally, but the doctor can't find any cause. This type of diarrhea is known as toddler diarrhea. All children should see a doctor if they are vomiting and have diarrhea and they're not drinking. They have a lot of diarrhea, 8 to 10 watery poos, or 2 to 3 3 large poos per day, or if the diarrhea doesn't improve after 10 days. They are vomiting, and can't keep any fluids down. They are dehydrated, fewer wet nappies, not weeing, dark yellow or brown wee, dry lips and mouth. They have a bad stomach pain. There is blood in their poo. 
They have green vomit. You are worried. What to do if your child has diarrhea? Give your child plenty of clear drinks to replace the fluid that's been lost, but only give them food if they want it. Don't give them fruit juice or cordial, as these drinks can cause diarrhea. Don't give your child anti-diarrhea drugs. They do not work, and can be harmful. Oral rehydration treatment can help. How to prevent the spread of diarrhea? If your baby or child comes into contact with other family members or people, for example, at childcare, wash their hands using liquid soap and warm running water, and dry their hands, frequently. Keep toilets clean and wash towels frequently. Make sure everyone in your family washes their hands regularly with soap and warm water to avoid spreading the infection, and don't share towels. Don't return your child to their school or child care facility until at least 48 hours after the last episode of diarrhea or vomiting. Sources Raising Children Network Who's and Wheeze, Royal Children's Hospital Melbourne Gastroenteritis, Raising Children Network Diarrhea. Learn more here about the development and quality assurance of health direct content.